Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jules from What Culture Gaming, joined by Rich Hello. and Rach for the first of many of our E3 coverage programs. Now, there is going to be a ton of new games that are going to be announced, as well as new details on upcoming games at the conference this coming week. So what we're going to do is a series of videos detailing what you can expect from E3 2018. Now, we're going to kick things off by talking about Square Enix and the PC gaming and EA because that's the ones that's coming up first. There's a lot of excitement to be had, so why don't we open the board by talking about the fact that there is going to be a new Tomb Raider game coming. Yes. yes. Now that's, <laughs> see, uh, we are in agreement, it will exist. Yeah, it's going to be there. Now, I don't know much details about this other than the fact that it's going to be carrying on, uh, it's not a tie to the movie or anything like that. It's Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Okay, I mean, so it's, I think it's just continuing more information on that, because I think we've only had yeah. the trailer so far. Which, to be fair, did actually look very good. Like, I mean, I'm a huge fan of the rebooted uh, Tomb Raider franchise. Mm. Even despite all of the weird controversy that was at the beginning of it, they are very solid games. And I feel like they've been actually quite overlooked, which actually you could say for quite a lot of sort of Square Enix titles at the moment. I feel like a lot of their stuff has been sort of bypassed at the moment. But I think that's why they put themselves back in the spotlight in doing their own conference mm. again this year. I mean, admittedly, they do have a lot to show this yep. year. Very, so. very true. So we've got the Tomb Raider game coming out, we've also got Hitman. Now this is a bit of an interesting one because this has been labelled as Hitman 2. The logo, uh, the logo leaked yeah. on, the, on the interwebs. Now there's already been six games, so how you call it Hitman 2, other apart from the fact that it's now Warner Brothers, so they are actually trying Wasn't to Wasn't the last one a soft reboot though? It was a soft reboot. Hitman 2, and, yeah. and do you know what, they have just released the, uh, I think it's the definitive edition for it all? That would have been like, because when it first came out it was episodic. Episodic, yeah. So and it's all like... You know what? Oh, they finally released it all together. Yeah, yes, yeah. And, oh, I, okay. and I played it the other day, it is brilliant. <laughs> I'm actually, like, it's a really fun game, so yeah, I'm glad to see this is coming out. Are you a big fan of Hitman 2? Actually, I've never played one. Oh really? No. Oh, no. I, honestly, like I will, I'll lend you the one that I've just played because seriously, it is really good. To get, it's <laughs> okay. a great way to get you introduced to the series, actually. Also, Hitman Two, one of my favourite games of all time, the original one, not the one that's. It's gonna anyway. be. It's gonna be a Battlefront Two versus Battlefront Two thing again. It Hitman is. Two, oh. one. Yeah, Hitman yeah. Two, two. <laughs> two point two. But then we have. A game that you guys probably don't haven't heard much of, I to mean, be honest. Uh, it's not like you went all the way to LA to go and play it. No. Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. Not Which jealous. Which I suppose it'll be okay. Yeah. yeah. Come on, guys. Be <laughs> honest. Be honest. Sell it what to the guys saw, at home. What we saw was mediocre at best. Uh, uh, no, pretty excited on. to hear because we will be getting a release date. Mm -hmm. Yes. For Kingdom Hearts 3. And hopefully so. more worlds and more information more content, about stuff. Because we, we only saw a. No, a come on, guys. Bit. No, no, no. I'm going to stop you right there. You guys are not selling it. You guys came back and you said <laughs> the Kingdom Hearts 3 was some of the most fun you've had playing a game in a while. So come on, sell it to the guys at home. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Because they've already watch. played it. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, really excited to see what other stuff they're going to hopefully announce at this event. Obviously, they told us we're going to get a release date early next month, which mm -hmm. is right now is early next month. Um, yeah, I think we, 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 we know so much about what we're going to see, but I think there's a lot of stuff that we're going to be completely surprised about. Yeah, I yeah. mean, so. I just I tell you what, the, from watching you guys' footage that you brought back, it was the the the, um, the combat system, the combat fighting, that looked to me so it's satisfying. Really good. I'm glad that they nailed that. It's just so much fun, and mm. I've been playing through the first Kingdom Hearts recently, and it's oh, like yeah. it's a bit of a slog combat. No, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Grind, Everyone, it, but, um, all Kingdom Hearts fans admit that it is a great fun. game. It's not yeah. the perfect game. But um, three, it really was really, really, really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I mean, I'm hoping that we uh, get to see more details on that. Besides the stuff you showed me, now we've got Avengers Ultimate Alliance. Now, have you guys ever played the uh, the previous sort of no, weird the sort of semi MMO, but not MMO games they did? They were wicked fun. Sounds like fun. the uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance one and two. I yeah, think. Yeah, that's they, why they, this they, is the third the third spiritual successor to them or something. Which is weird because they're now calling it Ultimate Alliance again, aren't they? But it's, it's apparently I think this is this was leaked on or this was rumored on 4chan. So <laughs> so we can believe it. I don't know whether I don't know whether you can take that. To, like I, I mean. Uh, they were saying it's like an isometric sort of thing. I'd mm -hmm. rather it was like a third person y kind of game. I don't know. We, we still, this is still very much rumour. We still mm. don't know exactly what this Avengers project game is going to be. Have to so. have to admit that if it's anything like the previous two games that unfortunately were taken off Xbox Live back in the day and you can't actually get a digital copy of them anymore thanks to licensing issues, were one of the, like, some of the most fun I had playing a sort of weird isometric -y <laughs> game. It was a really good game. Cool. Uh, moving on, we've got uh, Just Cause 4. Now, have you guys played the Just Cause 2? Just Cause 3? 2 is one of the greatest open world games ever. Have you got it on PC? Yes. Have you played the online multiplayer? No, mode? I it haven't. It is bat. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is absolutely mental because I think it supports up to 128 players. Something like, like that. that, yeah. It is. Ma- I like, have, one, I have wanted crazy. to try it. I just haven't yet. Not um, the game that we're talking about, though. So, yeah, Just Cause 4. Supposedly, it's interesting because Avalanche are working on Rage 2. Mm-hmm. So, either Avalanche have split in two and they've got half the team working on Rage, half the team working on Just Cause 4, or it's been given to somebody else. Um, after Just Cause 3, not that excited for Just Cause 4 if it's true. Uh, I mean, you could, you could argue that Just Cause 3 was kind of Just Cause 2.5 because it didn't really add yeah, uh, I mean, I'd, I'd, stuff. Yeah, essentially, if, this, if Just Cause 4 is real, because we've only seen like mm. whispers of potentially this being this being here, uh, Just Cause 2.2 two is what we need. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Not Just <laughs> Cause 3.2. To go three, with two. Hitman 2.2. Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God, it's so confusing. <laughs> now, a game that uh, we've actually been playing a, a fair bit of is Life is yeah. Strange, because Life is Strange oh. get, is getting a sequel, Life is Strange 2, and that's not very surprising in terms of the name there. But but it's really interesting because after the, I'm not going to spoil the ending for most people, there was a definite... It's got a pretty finite ending, no matter what you choose. And we've already done the prequel stuff, so it would yeah. be very interesting to see what it would hopefully be with a brand new set of cast and characters to tell a different type of story. I really enjoyed the concept of the narrative, the way yeah. they did it. There were a few things that didn't uh, agree with. I don't cringy. Know, like the, the use of the word hella quite a lot. <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 okay. I'm, I'm okay with that, that when it's done in a serious context, but still, yeah. very much looking forward to that. Plus, she shakes a Polaroid. You never shake a Polaroid. No. That, like, d- that damages the membrane. Completely, yeah, you, you don't ever shake Polaroids. Completely took me out of the immersion. But anyway. <laughs> just like just like the song Hey Ya, when it was just like, shake, shake like, it like, it's like a Polaroid no, picture. No, because they damage goods, Mr. Hey Ya, Mr. Outcast. <laughs> if that, Andre 3000, if that is your real name. Don't think it is. Um, anyway, and now we've got the final bit, which is a bit of an interesting one. Maybe, maybe, there's going to be an announcement for a deal with Nintendo from Square because they have actually had a, uh, a post came out that said that they are going to be developing exclusively for Switch just a few games or even yep. just one title. It's an interesting one there and we can't really figure out what If game we're getting one title on Switch, I'll tell you when it needs to be. What? Final Fantasy VII. Oh, well, that would suit the episodic format for it because then it would be easily downloadable onto yeah. the Switch be able we've, to take it with We've had Final Five Fantasy sizes on... as well on the Switch cards. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I would release the high capacity I think it's just going to be similar to what Bethesda do where they're just releasing games for the Switch yeah. whereas a lot of other companies are going nah, don't, nah we're not going to bother with it. But you so. know what? A lot of people uh, critique sort of the sort of porting system that they have for the Nintendo Switch where most developers just chuck their games on there. But what they seem to forget is that when they do that they usually chuck on a lot of Nintendo themed content which is oh, usually yeah. brilliant. Like, like when, they put the, when they put the Mario and Luigi cars into Rocket ex- League. Yeah, and stuff exactly. Like that. I, yeah. Love, I love the fact they do that. And yeah exactly. Yeah, so yeah. If, there's, if there's more <laughs> stuff like that then it's brilliant. It's a good time to be a Switch owner through and through. Absolutely. Right, moving on to the PC stuff. We're going to talk about uh, the developer Frontier. Now, they're known for making Planet Coaster, Elite Dangerous, and Jurassic World Evolution. Oh, what a shock. Those are the three games that they're going to be announcing as well. So, there's a lot of hype about this, really, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, Jurassic World Evolution, the... Uh, the PC gaming show, it'll be before Jurassic World Evolution yeah. launches, yeah. which is next week. Yeah, yeah. Um, so either they're just going to show more stuff of it, or they're going to tell and go, hey, actually, here's something we've been keeping from you. This is going to be in the game. It's out next week. Go buy it. Or now, it'll be out in a few days. I don't know. Now, you're very keen for this to come out because you've I'm been very buying, excited. It's, it's almost like Rich really loves games like Roller Coaster Tycoon Maybe, and all those yeah. other things. Like anything that's sort of a base <laughs> management operation stuff. Yeah. He loves that. So add dinosaurs in and the ability to shoot them from oh the helicopter. Oh my god. You can yeah. fly around the helicopters, you can drive around and get yeah. in the buggies and stuff. And it's stuff. got Jeff Goldblum for a little and bit And it's got Jeff well. Goldblum in it as well. So yeah, that, I'm hoping that that does really well because it would be nice to see something like a Command and Conquer-esque style it's thing It's sort of like a, out of the... a spiritual successor to Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Never played from that. From the like, PS2 era. It's like a, Again, it's like a park builder with Jurassic Park. So that's just sort of that. Fair enough. Um, Elite Dangerous. I mean, I'm not a massive Elite person. I know so, it's huge though. Um, like, so. They might show more stuff for that. Uh, but I think the biggest thing for me and probably for Rach as well uh, they're hopefully going to show off some more Planet Coaster DLC mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. anything Planet Coaster is automatically good if you've seen anything I've done all, you know these, all of these massive titles being released and that's the thing Planet that Coaster's so, thing that's got me yeah. but look, um, so moving on we're going to talk about Valve now it's always a bit of a contentious issue to say what Valve is and isn't going to do but one thing we definitely know that they probably maybe will oh, I'm, I'm possibly losing possibly it's Artifact yes it's their, it's their card game effectively yeah, it's which, the Dota card game which, which had a bit of a mediocre a lukewarm response when they first announced it. Yeah. And then Yay. when they turned around and said, "Hey, we've got the guy who did Magic the Gathering working on it." It's like, it was oh, like, whoa! And then uh, there was a there was like a uh, Valve hosted these discussions at the Valve HQ, mm-hmm. and Gabe Newell himself, or it might have been Gabe or somebody else, said, "What we did." For FPSs with Half Life, we're doing to card games with artifacts. Mm. So that's, that's a, a huge that's a big thing to say. And yeah. from what I've seen of gameplay, 
I'm actually kind of excited for it. As you know, we all play Magic, so we are quite excited to see what Artifact's gonna be. I've seen some gameplay of it. It does look interesting. Um, there's no like definitive release date. I think it's gonna be this year at least for PC. Yeah. And then a bit probably next year for, because it's coming out on mobiles and stuff as well. Yeah, I mean, they're um, going for a full sweep on the Yeah, they are. They're, they're properly going for, going for Hearthstone. They're yeah, going they full are. on a Hearthstone. So that could be exciting. I mean, they're, they're, there's nothing saying that Valve are actually exhibiting. Valve are apparently there at mm -hmm. E3. I've seen some tweets from people who work there saying we're gonna do some discussions, like some panels, nothing, nothing major, but that could just be secretly going, ha ha, Here's Artifact. Yeah. Here's a third game in one of their many series. Uh, Maybe not, but anyway, moving I mean, on. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and, and then we're going to have a slew of VR games that are probably going to be announced as well. Which yeah, is same as last year, really. I mean, they are still pushing VR quite heavily, even though the market response hasn't been particularly on great P at the moment. On PC, you, it's like, been okay. I, mean, I, think, I think it's good because it's sort of like, people have spent hundreds of pounds on VR headsets, mm. so it's mm. good that they're still actually making games. Yeah, I just, I always feel that that's a weird justification for it. It's like, oh, I've spent money on it, therefore there should be games. I think that, the, that's not I how think it works. The, the, PC, should be... the, the PC is a lot better than it is for, like, PlayStation. Because mm -hmm. it's a lot easier to get your stuff on there. Like this, there's been some really, really big games. Like um, Beat Saber has been massive mm -hmm. on PC for yeah. VR. Mm -hmm. um, apparently, there's loads of stuff being announced. I think it might be at Sony's. That's like a lot of stuff is being having VR included yeah. in it. So yeah. there could be stuff that's going to be working over that. I mean, like PC that, releases as well. Personally, so. that's how I think you get it over. You basically put it as not gimmicky, but small bits into games yeah. constantly, making people aware that VR is a legitimate yeah, like way that, to yeah. sort of... Kind of like, like when the Kinect first came out. Exactly. Yeah, like, everyone like was jumping FIFA, on that. where it was like, oh, you can get a Kinect for FIFA and you can shout... Oh yeah, you could do it. Was it, in, yeah. like, was it in like um, Ghost Recon? You could be like, hey! And then yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, kind of like that. That would work. Yeah, so that's all they've got to do for that. But we're going to move on now because we've just warmed up and this is starting to get very hot and by hot I mean problematic because we're talking about EA now you are opening E3 this year they as are, they did last year now yeah, yeah. now no matter what you think about EA as a company and its weird shady business practices they do have a slew of massive titles under their belt and I'm just gonna list them off very quickly and then we're gonna set them one by one Anthem Battlefield 5 Star Wars Skate 4 FIFA and Madden possibly the future of Mass Effect as well there are huge AAA titles yeah. right there. Now, if there's one that stood out more than the others, you'd be right, it's Skate 4. <laughs> <laughs> Literally they, rumored if, today, I think it was the, if the, they the confirm, started coming out. If they confirm, even if it's a remaster of Skate 1, 2 or 3, and the money's on 2, 2 was the best one, you know I'm right on that <laughs> one, then definitely Skate would be brilliant to have a comeback now. Not like, gonna lie, I would love that. The thing yeah. is, is that they got burned by their whole sort of backlash on Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yeah. They've done all these things. They need to sort of have something to break the ice. <laughs> and Skate 4 so is like, hey, a, we're fun. That is a yeah. palette Skate cleanser game. and a half. Because no matter, because everyone would want it to happen. Yeah. It would be easy for them to get brand deals and get their bloody money back because of all the skate company sort of clothing that they could tie up with. There are ways that they could definitely make this work. So. Fingers crossed for that. FIFA, not fussed on. Madden, they're going to be a massive, like, like, as they normally do, the whole like middle section of the conference it's will just... be for FIFA and Madden, and it's like, that's not what's I mean, it's like, You've seen all the sport content on mm -hmm. the channel. Mm -hmm. I love sports. Yeah. <laughs> Battlefield 5, I'm personally looking forward to. I really enjoyed the sort of rebooted that they did with Battlefield 1. I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing how the franchise moves forward with the next big installments yeah. of that. Because I think all we've had so far is the trailer, and I think we've had some, some leaks about some a potential few... details. Yeah, and I'm, but I think uh, this will be when they tell me to go, here we go, this is what. Battlefield 5 is. I mean, any gameplay footage I'll be looking forward to for that. Yeah. Anthem, I'm really excited about yeah. because I feel like that went big, went quiet, went big, went quiet. It, delayed, it got delayed, didn't it? Yeah, and now it's uh, like, this. they need this to kind of replace the damage they did with Mass Effect. So. Also, I think it's going to be interesting because obviously because it's a big open world loot grind thing, there's going to be microtransactions. Yeah. There's no way that's yeah. not going to be in, yeah. in, incorporated. So this is going to be interesting <laughs> to see how EA are going to tread into back into this practice yeah. after the massive kerfuffle that was Battlefront 2 last year. He's hoping so, to do it carefully. Because I mean, they have to. This is the thing, people, we have to admit that microtransactions can work if they're inoffensive and they're not required or oh, like, or they're, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I don't exactly. mind people wanting to pay stuff no, for cosmetics and things like that. That is not the issue, but it's the problem is when it's a it's a barrier to progression. That is when it's an issue yeah. there. But anyway, so we've got then, and then we're going into their sort of maybe a few indie announcements as well. Potentially unravel uh, or slash a way out. Aww. That's what we've got written here. Joseph Fares apparently might show up again. Yep, yeah, so it's one of those things where we <laughs> don't know, but a way out does look 
very, very impressive. So actually, no, that's already been released. That's already out. Yeah. That's yeah. It. So, what am I thinking? I'm thinking of a different one. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> you played it, haven't you? Yeah, we, it was great. Like if we were to get, it was quite a short game. Mm-hmm. If we were to get something similar, maybe well, hopefully better. That would be even better. You know? Yeah, we might crop up again. And then uh, lastly, for EA, potentially Star Wars games. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We've obviously had Visceral closed. Battlefront Two is sort of being swept under the rug now. Mm-hmm. Um, who is it that's working on a Star Wars game at the moment? Uh, oh, damn it! So there's one of the, one of EA's subsidiaries is working on a Star Wars game at the moment. I can't think. Oh, um, Respawn. Oh, they That's are. Right, Respawn okay. are working okay, on a Star Wars cool. game. We could see something about that. I mean, remember, uh, was it last year or year before? EA were like, "Look, we're working on four thousand Star Wars games." Oh yeah, and we've and seen then, about two of them. Yeah. So we might see some more Star Wars. Or we'll just get another general, really nicely yeah. shot developer mm. video and gone. Ha, we're working on something, but is that accurate, EA? Mm. I mean, to be honest though, do you remember the hype when they announced that uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 one? They had all of the work and they showed all the Endor and bits like that. Just and it's like, oh, EA's the... last year with Battlefront 2 made it look really good. And then yeah. as we got closer and closer to the release date, it all went, it all went. But anyway, this isn't a video about that. But that <laughs> is just to say that EA will be opening uh, and hopefully we'll see a sort of big slew of big titles there. And a few, it never hurts to have a few indie titles. Come on, EA, we do just support indie titles every once in a while. Yeah. So please bring out something that's a bit less shooty, shooty, runny, Gunny. So that's what you could possibly expect from Square Enix, EA, and the PC gaming lot in this coming E3 2018 event. Let us know which games that you're excited about down in the comments section below. And as always, I've been Jules. I've been Rich. I've been Rich. You've been awesome, and we'll speak to you soon. Bye! Bye-bye.